Value Stream Mapping Assembly Six Steps for Continuous Improvement Value stream mapping the assembly process to affect future state improvements is somewhat like developing a strategy to run a competitive obstacle course. Run it in the most direct way with the minimum amount of effort for maximum success. Our goal on running the course is top quality, finished product, and our hurdles will include any and all waste and production delays. A plan for running the course and assessing the current state conditions should include these topics. Identify the course and its high and low hurdles. See the bottlenecks, waste and flow stoppages. If you don't ID them, you can't resolve them. Think out resolutions and plan out course strategies. What can you do to knock down and clear those hurdles? Have your team toss out any ideas for evaluation. Expose the true issues. Bottom line, what has created the hurdles that are stopping progress? Without this knowledge, you can't run the course any better or resolve issues. Have the team list out solutions. Operators, production leads, and engineers will all have unique takes on what is needed. Revisit prior steps to extract the best from all. Then prioritize, taking the easiest and most simple solutions first and develop from there. Get action plan going. While you're dialing in the game plan for running the course, determine the most direct route with minimum effort. Try multiple runs and benchmark for proof of concept. Standardize methods. When the course is run in the allotted time with the minimum effort, lock it in. At WorkSmart Systems, we have decades of experience in hundreds of successful lean assembly cells. How may we assist your team in its value stream mapping goals?